Well, I received the axe handle in the mail the other day. I'm actually not impressed with it. and I don't know if I ordered the wrong thing. When I ordered it online, it said it was going to be 14 and a half inches. And I figured when I was doing this one, this one's about 13 and a half. I thought, eh, it'd just be a little bit longer, but I don't know if they measure from here on the axe handle or up towards the top. But the overall on this one's about 16 inches. But it's a lot fatter wood. I mean, I, I could sand it down. The grain orientation is kind of off to the side. But uh, I'm sending this one back because they put this, uh, they made the cut themselves already and it's off to the side when I sand this down to try to get the axe handle inside of the axe head. It's going to be uneven. So, and it's supposedly made in the USA, but somebody was just having a bad day, I think, when they made that cut. So, um, I'm going to do this video in two parts. Uh, today, I'm going to work on. Uh, Dad, sorry. Yes, sir. Big idea, big idea, ghost. See a ghost, huh? Halloween. Halloween. I'm going to work on cleaning up the axe head today, trying to smooth down the sides that were pounded out um, and the second part of the video would be me finally finding an axe handle if anybody knows of where I can get a, a small axe handle about this size uh, let me know um, I wish I could have saved this one but it was my first time removing an axe handle and I don't know if the wood was just too damaged or what so I'm gonna work on filing this down now I don't have a belt sander um, but I'm going to use a metal file, I'm use a brush, and I got some of these from Harbor Freight just to try to clean off some of the rust. Then I'm also going to use some sandpaper. If you sit up here on this table, son, keep it from moving. It's not worse than that. Danny. Hmm? Stand up on the ladder, get in the bird's eye view. I'm just doing that, that, right there. You're looking at the camera? That's fine. <laughs> Good job there. Here, let's try this. Hold on tight. Got your safety goggles on. See, we're taking off little bits of metal. Trying to smooth it out. You want to try? Go ahead. <laughs> Let's go like this. Oh, your turn. It's my turn? Here, Daddy, you try the position. Pardon? Okay, now do you want me to pull the trigger and you move it around? Would that be easier? Yeah. You okay. No, I pulled the trigger. Okay, you pull the trigger. Go ahead. There you go. You're getting it cleaned up. Get the trigger pulled.
Got to keep the trigger pulled. Here, I'm going to lock it in for you. How's that? And then you just move it around. There you go. Hold on, two hands. I just noticed you don't have your safety goggles on your head. You have them on your head, but you don't have them over your eyes. Okay. Good job. Always got to wear safety goggles. Okay, let me lock it in. Okay, go ahead. I'm using the sandpaper right now, I'm not using the drill. Watch. Go get your eye protection on. Go get your eye protection on. Put it over somewhere right over there. I've got a couple little layers of rust off it. I wanted to be careful not to mess with the word craftsman on it. Um, so, for, so far I think for the first sanding, it's come out pretty good. It's got a nice patina to it. There's a couple little battle scars in here, which I think gives it a little bit of character. I'm going to still work on this edge a little bit more. I mean, it's almost flat, as you can see. Um, but, uh, I'll finish up the axe head and put the handle on in the next video. Thanks for watching.